Okie doke, boys and girls, we're here in Marvelous Designer 2, the best one. <laughs> and I'll tell you why I say that later. But um, when you open it, it may look like this. Actually, uh, let me, there you go. It may look like this. So what we're going to do is just hit OK and close out the default Marvelous Designer uh, avatars because we don't need it. We want our one we export it. And we're going to bring that avatar into Marvelous Designer. So what you need to do is go to the top where it says File open in an avatar and bring, click on it and we're going to go to our project folder which is in my case the man body and you're just going to select the model that we exported when you do that you'll be prompted with this menu right here you're just going to press this m key right here and it's going to automatically fill out the scaling for you so just press m and then hit ok so now you see we have our signature body in and he's all ready to make clothes for. So I'm going to press new and get rid of the default clothes that's here. And in this tutorial, in our usual Ginkgo style, we're going to show you how to make two basic clothing. Uh, a t-shirt and a pair of pants. Now once you learn how to make a t-shirt and a pair of pants, you can pretty much make any garment in Marvelous Designer. Because um, how it works is that you can draw, pretty much use the 2D window and the pattern tools to draw out um, a shape of the clothes you want to make. And then you sew them in the 3D window and it forms on the model and it makes a pair of clothes um, for you. So if you know how to make clothes like in real life with sewing patterns you can pretty much do the same thing just create those patterns in a 2d window um, but if you're dumb like me and don't know anything about making you know real sewing patterns you can just draw the shape of the clothes and then put it into the 2d window and then sew it on here and that's pretty much what we're going to do with this shirt and the pants we're going to show you how to make uh draw a pattern for a t-shirt and a pair of pants um I was going to say that really does work for almost everything except for skirts and dresses. But I guess because you're a guy, you don't really need that, right? Anyway, um, so sometimes um, before we start, we're going to need to enable the, the 2D pattern making tools. Um, sometimes when you start Marvelous Designer, they have them disabled. Um, I don't know why they do it, but we're just going to enable it. So if you are looking over here in your 2D window and you notice that you only have these string of keys right here, you're going to, your 2D pattern tools aren't enabled. So I need you to click on, right click on this gray panel right here. And you're going to, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, sorry. I had the horrible fear that I had the mic muted this whole time. That happened, like, twice already. <laughs> okay, anyway. So you're going to click on this gray um, bar at the top, and you're going to select 2D Pattern Toolbar. And that's going to enable all the 2D pattern making tools you need to make your garments. So I'm going to go through the rundown real quick and show you, tell you what the buttons do. So you know when I say press the pattern tool or press the sync button, you know what I'm talking about. And you're not just staring at it like, what is she talking about? <laughs> okay, so first things first, let's talk about the windows. This is the 3D window. It shows your 3D model and um, your garment and stuff once you start making it. And this is a 2D window where we'll be drawing out our pattern. In the 2D window... Um, Oh, I said that right. You'll be drawing out your pattern. Um, there are 2D tools and there are 3D tools. Uh, some 3D tools don't work in a 2D window, but some 2D tools work in a 3D window. You'll see that once we actually start working. So let's talk about how do you make this stuff. So uh, I don't know where to start. <laughs> All right, so where we start is here. Calm down. Let's begin talking about pattern making. To make a pattern in a 2D window, you'll need to use two, the 2D pattern tools that are right here. The first one, and the one you're going to be using the most, is the Create Polygon tool. And that allows you to create any shape that you want as long as you return back to the first dot that you created. Now, you, the button next to it is the Create Rectangle, which does the same thing and creates a rectangle or square patterns um, easily by just clicking and dragging it open. This makes it easier for you than trying to do it with the Create Polygon tool, which may create really irregular uh, squares and stuff. <laughs> it looks like those that a 90s abstract art, right? Next to that tool, that button, is the Create Circle tool. 
which again lets you quickly create um, the tools that you need um, patterns without having to draw them out with the create polygon tool because imagine trying to create a circle using that <clears throat> neck cut <laughs> next to these tools are internal tools internal sewing tools let's create a square real quick now I'm going to press the sync button and this allows you these sides to sync up and work together uh, when this button is enabled you'll see whatever we do to modify the pattern it modifies it goes over here on the 3d window but if you turn the sync off you'll notice that the pattern turns red and if we try to modify it it's not changing over in the 3d window that's because you need to turn the sync on now let's talk about those internal tools I mentioned real quick the internal tools work just like the external polygon tools the regular creating tools except you can create any kind of crazy shape and you don't have to go back to the first dot just simply double click when you're done and it creates an internal scene the same thing with the internal rectangle and the internal square another thing about these internal um, lines is that when you create them they also have the ability to be converted into holes so when you right click on an internal shape you can just convert it into a hole like this However, this only works, holes can only be created through closed shapes like the square and the circle. If we try to click on the zigzag here that we created, it doesn't even give us the option to convert it into a hole. It's just not possible. It has to be a closed shape like that. Now you may be wondering, what's the point of these internal tools anyway besides making holes and zigzags? Well when you are sewing you may want to attach things to your garment like uh, let's pretend let me just create another one real quick let's pretend that this is a t-shirt and you want it to sew um, a pocket onto it let's pretend that this is a pocket now you can't just take the pattern and put it on top of the fabric and hope that it goes you have to sew this extra fabric onto your uh, t-shirt so what you would use is the internal tool lines to create um, where the pocket will go where an extra grab lines and then you could sew your uh, pocket onto the shirt like that it also helps if you're trying to make um, creases or folds in your garment so you could click on this and then um, you can click on the line and then you can change how it folds as well and add elastic if you want it to it um, or do pleating <laughs> if you need something pleated. That's what these internal tools do. Now next to it is the dart tool. Now like I keep saying before, I have no idea what darts really do. I'm still taking a real life sewing class. So once we cover darts, I'm sure I'll be able to give you guys an, a, a proper explanation on what darts do. But if you know what darts do, darts do the same thing. I've just been using it to quickly tear holes inside my clothes <laughs> for like tails and things like that. So that's what the dart does. Um, so let's talk about these arrows over here. These guys are going to be your friends too. This white arrow is the edit pattern tool. It allows you to, like it says, edit your pattern so you can manipulate it and get that perfect shape that you are trying to um, get while you're working on it. <laughs> uh, next to it is the black arrow and this is the edit all kind of arrow. Uh, edit pattern. What's it called? Let's see. Transform pattern. Okay. It allows you to select multiple pattern pieces at once, and you can uh, edit it like stretching it out like this, or stretching it down like that, uh, or uh, rotating it. Oh, rotate up here. But rotating doesn't change anything really. It just helps you uh, edit it on the 2D window. Um, you know, working on multiple things and just grabbing multiple pieces at once. That's what the black arrow really is for. Um, another thing next to that is the edit curve, and this allows you to add curves to your pattern if you need them to be so. Just like you said, play around with that. Um, next to that is the edit curve point, and this lets you fine tune your curve so you can get an even better curve than the other one from before. 
Um, and next to that is the add points. You can um, use this to transform your pattern, pretty much add more grab points to help you transform your pattern even more. So you'll just be playing around with all of those, really. I can spend hours explaining these, but until you actually play with it yourself, there really is no point in doing so. All right, so that sums up uh, pretty much all the pattern making buttons. Um, next to, we, we need to do, I kept talking about sewing, sewing, sewing. We're gonna use, talk about those over here. These are your sewing tools. There is two top modes of sewing in Marvel's Designer 2. There's free sewing and then there's segment sewing. We're not gonna talk about free sewing. You're just gonna have to ride that pony on your own. We're just gonna do the quick segment sewing. Uh, that's what you, <laughs> I use the most, so we're going to try that. So um, let's create, this is so much easier with a woman. <laughs> um, hang on. Um, uh, let's make a tube shirt for the man. Uh, so I'm just going to use our pattern tool here, and I'm going to create two quick rectangles just to show you the sewing tool. And we're going to flip it horizontally because whenever you have to put a pattern piece behind your avatar, you have to flip it horizontally first. Otherwise, it'll be invisible if you don't. Um, and Second Life if you don't. And then you have to flip them all in Blender and it's terrible. So make sure you flip your pattern if it has to go behind. So front is fine. You don't have no flipping for the front. Only flip the back. Okay. So um, like I was saying... We have these other tools up here, the segment sewing tool, and you're going to bring your, uh, click on it, and you're going to select, hover your mouse over the edge of your pattern. Now when you do so, you'll see that there's a light that shines on, that highlights on the edge. When it does that, you're just going to click on it, and then move your mouse over to the other edge that you want to sew, and you'll see a string of light going from one edge to the other. And then it'll create a bunch of lines. These lines are your seams. Now you want to make sure that you keep your seam lines nice and straight. Because that tells Marvelous Designer to bring it this edge and this edge together. And don't do anything. Just hold them together. Now if you click on the edge and you notice that your edge lines look like this where it's twisted. Then your lines are broken. You don't want to have twisted uh sewing lines because what that tells Marvel's designer is to take this edge and then take that edge and then bring it together and then twist it up in the middle and we don't need that to happen you want to keep your lines nice and straight so how do you fix it if your lines get twisted um, there are two ways of doing it if you just did it you can just press Control Z a few times and then it will undo it and then you can re-sew your lines and make them straight but if your lines are like if you twisted a line and you didn't notice it and it's too late to control Z you can do one of two things you can select the edit seam lines and you can select the edge right click on it and then you can press reverse seam line and that'll straighten it out or let me press undo you can go over to the 2d window and you can see the cross line uh, that's highlighted and you can right click on here and do the same thing and select reverse seam line and it'll straighten your lines out for you so once you have your pattern piece um, all sewn together and the way you want it, I'm just going to move this a little bit close to him, um, you just press the play button and that will start the simulation for it. And you see you have a, a tube shirt, crop, t t tube shirt, tube shirt, tube shirt, that's what I'm going for. And then you'll see you have your shirt. So that's one way of, um, that's how you do your basic sewing in Marvel's Designer. So now that I showed you all the controls that you have that you you want it now. If you don't want something and you want to get rid of it, you can just click on it and press delete and then that will erase it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the basic controls of Marvelous Designer and all the buttons. Now that we have that done, I can actually show you how to create the pattern for your t-shirt and your pants. And then from there, you can just experiment and play off of how you want. So um, let's get in there and start making our t-shirt. You know, in the next video, not this one.